Hi guys, today we are going to be um, showing you what is in our emergency, well... Just in case of emergency bag. Yeah, just That's in case of emergency bag. It's what we called it in our other video. What was the video? What were we, um, we were reviewing uh, some ice packs and some cold spray and a Sandico pump from uh, Sports Direct. So go and check that out. So let's okay, just let's let's move that back. Okay, so let's get this opened up. Can we open it up? Yes. So do the side pouch first. So we've got a side yeah. pouch here. This O'Neill bag I got this years ago. It's a bit of a smallish hold all. So um uh, so first of all on the side, so we've got um some inhalers. Inhaler. inhaler. One inhaler, blue inhaler. And we'll get the stuff out and talk about laces. Laces, yep. Yeah. Uh hand gel. Hand gel. What else have we got in there? Muscle pain relief. <laughs> what else? A pen. A pen. You never know. And a spoon. And a spoon. Oh. Like, okay, right, so get that out of the way. So first of all... And some all-purpose soap. All-purpose soap, so all-purpose soap. Sometimes when you go, right, so I, I, I'll put my bit in. Sometimes when you go to these um, football tournaments, right, the toilets are... What that that one we went to? No, your brother went to. Uh, oh, it was at... Um, he was playing this team and uh, we lost. he lost to them. But, yeah. uh, and the toilets were... Really disgusting. disgusting. The actual hand soap, it was white bath soap and it had cracks in the soap and black stains in the soap. So you're better off not washing your hands than washing them. So this I decided to get some of this. So this is what your brother used when he went on his Duke of Edinburgh expedition, your eldest brother. The 18 year old one. So uh, he only went on his uh, Duke of Edinburgh, so he should use it, but he doesn't need it anymore because he's done it all that. So that's we've got this in case we need some soap. That's the first thing. We've got a hand gel in case we don't have any water or soap or we, something dirty happens, so we've got that. Uh, this is just from... Just from... Super drug. Super drug, yeah, super drug. So just rubbing your hands, so no water needed. Don't need water, wash with, you can wash your face, whatever. But um, that's antibacterial. And it's by Life Adventure. Yep. So you can get any stuff like that. You can probably get it from anywhere. So we just had that on, so that's two. Um, this one, muscle pain relief cream, when you had your problem with your hip, we got it, just in case, because your hip's been aching a bit, sometimes we're playing football, so we're going to get that checked out. But also we've got this, this is just from Boots. You just rub it in maybe after a kind of uh, muscle strain or something like that, or pull. Uh, we've got a spoon, because sometimes you have um, food in the thing, like pots of jelly and stuff. Yogurt. Right? Yogurt, when we're going far away and you're driving back and you're hungry, you are, or your brother is. A spoon there. Um, inhaler. What's the story with the inhaler you've got, you and your brother both suffer from? Your oldest brother as well. No, just me. Just you. Um, sometimes you get wheeziness and uh, asthma, and he's got asthma. I've got mild asthma. Your eldest brother's got asthma. So, uh, what was that kind of scary situation when you're football training? Not for you, but. Oh, so this other kid had to stop because he had asthma. And I asthma, think he was, asthma or what? He had asthma and I think he was having an asthma attack. He had a bad quite asthma attack, he stopped and he's like wheezing and and uh, I rushed to my car thinking, being clever clogs, thinking I had one of these in there and I didn't. And the day when you need it, when I always thought you had one thing all prepared, didn't happen. So luckily, because it was in North Manchester where we live, uh, the, the football um, thing, because it uh, cricket club where we train, it was nearby, I got in the car, I drove home, got an inhaler and got it to him, which is very grateful for, but the dad said, it was a one day we were late and every day we have his inhaler and his Jaffa cakes with him, and this morning we'd got up late and we rushed here, and the day that you end up not having your stuff is the day you most need it, so always, always, if anyone you know has asthma in your family, Asthma is not just because everyone has it, it's just one of those things, it's a medical emergency. If someone has an asthma attack, you can kill them. So you do need to carry one everywhere. And you can always ask for more from your GP and you have it on repeat prescription if you need it. And always have them, you know, around, at, you know, 
make sure school's got them if he needs it, make sure he has, it, has one of the blades if he knows how to use it or she does. Make sure um, it's in your car, make sure it's at your workplace if you need one. You never know when you're going to need it and it'll be that one time when you can't get to one quickly enough. So just always have one. I have a um, some of the year when I was uh, um, studying, um, he was in a year, the ladder was in a year below me. His 12 year old son, a uh, brother, 12 year old brother, younger brother, died of an asthma attack. You know, uh, we went to his funeral. Um, uh, it can happen. I mean, if you're prepared, okay, and something happens, you can't do it out of your hands. But if you're ill prepared and something happens, you're going to regret it. So always, 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 always have an inhaler. So we've always got that in the side pouch. I just put the side pouch, it's not important, it's not like I'm anything, but you, sometimes your laces can break or snap, and these are um, brilliant, brilliant laces from the guy, Josh, Soccer Reviews for You, laces. Went through all this palaver of laces, Soccer Reviews for You. Ah, there you go, thank you, Soccer Reviews. It's written on the side, you see? Can you get that in focus? No? Yes? No? Soccer Reviews for You. They're like, um, glow in the dark kind of things. Really nice laces, really good quality stuff. I mean, he sells them, he's always talking about them when he does his reviews, swaps them around the laces with tiny shoes on, which, you know, obviously he wants to sell them, so. And they're really cool, they have like glow in the dark, different colors. Yeah, really so it's worth cool. checking out. If you buy three of them, it's free postage, even though he's in Canada, you've still got free postage. It took quite a while to get them, but I keep them this too, because the one thing good about the AMO or AMO, Speed laces we got the laces we got we went through all the trouble these grip these are speed laces tube you keep them in oh, and the grip lace we had loads of problems with them I mean don't get me wrong these I'm not swagging the company up because the laces are good quality laces they're just a bit too thick the speed laces don't have the coating for being gripped um, but um, the quality stuff and you get it in this brilliant tube it's like all quality it's not like you've not been ripped off when you buy these laces but they're just too long for your boots weren't they a bit too thick the speed day stuff put on my nike trainers so so i didn't waste them and they're pretty cool pretty cool for my adult size shoes so not for you so that's the other thing so that's a side pouch done so should we open the top bit now yes go on let's go for it so loads of stuff so here we have some cold spray you can check out when we review that on my other video yeah, what's uh, ice pack. Ice pack. In, uh, instant ice pack that you throw away after you use it. And some. Um, this is just a sword of Tesco's. Honest organic drinks. And because it was in the non refrigeration non kind of fridge settings, you probably keep this for a while and they, they want something other than water, want a bit of a drink, and need a bit of sugar. There's not a lot of sugar in it, I don't think. It's quite. I've tried, we've tried on having it. It's very weak, isn't it? So it's like water's got what we've got in here. Like very diluted cordial. <laughs> Water, organic fruit juices from concentrate, 31%, 31.5%, grape, apple, orange, lemon, organic mango puree. Oh, I didn't taste much of that. Antioxidant, ascorbic acid, natural mango flavoring. So not full of any trash and rubbish that normal, that's not sugary. So these are a couple of those just in case you need them. That can go over there. What else have we got? Some. Big rolls. They're meant to be good for thingy, big rolls. They're dirt cheap as the ones that, you know, while they're in the bag. As soon as you open them, though, leave them a couple days, they go rock hard. The potato one day, when you first them, nice stuff. So they're nice to eat and they're good and lots of energy. That thing. And some puritin. 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 It's like uh, adults and children can use it. Good thing children can use it to so get a spoon in case of any uh, kind of allergy, whether it's a rash or nettle sting or uh, allergy to pet hairs or hay fever so it says hay fever pet allergies skin allergies multiple allergies house dust my allergies it's worth having um for the weather so it's just worth having and another ice pack another ice pack in case you need it uh we've got the football this is just it now let's let's put this down here so and way. another ice pack yeah like ice packs galore you never know you may never need never too many this is his jacket uh chicken hill junior football club so your younger brother's jacket which they give him uh, and it's good because always put your name inside wrong name that's another <laughs> they put the wrong jacket we're going to have to swap that over they picked their wrong jacket so uh 
<laughs> oh, there's the name of that. We picked up the wrong jacket, so we had to swap that round. So, the, the jacket, cause, because with this jacket, it's it's good, it's all right stuff. It's made by a company called Pro Staff. Um, and the thing, the thing is, it's tipping down in vain, he can wear it during the match. With any other jacket, you can't, because this is, they're the minimum teeth. So, it's, especially now when it's starting to get more wetter, he can wear this instead of getting soaked and getting a cold or ill or whatever. So what else have we got? We've got your... Oh. We've done... Um, the Pro Direct Adidas jacket. Pro Direct Adidas jacket, which we've got all their advertising. It's quite nice, it looks pretty cool. Pro Direct the jacket and it's this thing on it as well. What's that? Nice emblem, we think. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's not bad. Adidas uh, war fully waterproof. So when you go to Kings, when you're doing your football training at Kings, uh, at the school, Phillips, you know, the school, um, on the AstroTurf and it's raining, you can wear this. And still because it's quite a light, thin, just like a mesh, isn't it? It's like a shell coat. It's like a shell coat. Yeah. yeah, just mesh on the inside, shell coat. It won't get too hot. Got the hood, so that's perfect. That's kept. We've got to find your one, actually, wherever that is. You need to find that because you're going to need it. Um, so that goes there. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, oh, guess what else we've got in? Another ice, Another ice pack. That's four now. I have to get rid of some of those. We don't need all those. Uh, and then we've got a first aid kit. First aid kit now. And first, carry more first, first aid kit. So this is really important. Okay. Inside so this we have. Can't say that. If you can say it, tell us in the comments. Anti hisan and and anti hisan anti I don't know. We've got. Wait, one more. Let me just try to this. Bite and sting cream. So it's good to use. You know, any insect bite net will. You know, because you've got getting a ball out from a bunch of bushes. Get your leg caught on a stinging nail. Good stuff. Good on. And we've got Selvon. Antiseptic wound wash. Savlon. Not Savlon, Savlon. So he's actually cut Savlon. himself. Loads of stuff in here, for example. I got these from Superdrug, really good. Um, you know, after skin closure, you never know. That's what they use. Uh, the normal scissors, we've got and more. We've got Savlon bite sting stuff again. And we've got a medium sterile dressing. So we've got general stuff in there, but we're just going to put in what we generally have added. We don't put, I have to mention stuff we haven't added. Um, so another thing is, um, we've got this uh, one I've had for quite a while from Boots. Stops bleeding fast. Very important as well, burns spray. The most important thing, if you can, is douse anything that gets burnt. Any part of the skin that gets burnt in loads of water, cool it, get the temperature down with lots of cold water for a long, long time. The biggest problem when you burn yourself is the raising of temperature of the skin. The temperature gets raised very high and that's what kills the skin cells off. So the best, most important thing to do is get the temperature right down, really cold. Obviously you have to bear in mind things like shock and stuff like that, so you have to be careful. If it's severe burn, obviously you need to call an ambulance immediately, but in the interim period, just douse it in water, cold water. This if you've got nothing else, just like a burn spray. So you spray it on, so that can help. Uh, we've got some more skin closure strips, you never have too much of that. Uh, we've got the normal kind of stuff you'd have in here, like gloves. We've also got this, which is... Um, sticky bandages. Sticky bandages. Sticky bandage, uh, quite sticky, because it's been there for a while. And if you need to take your fingers together, if you've strained them or anything like that, um, or tape something on, like you know, bleeding, get lots of pressure and wrap it round, you know, a dressing or a plaster, not saying on, so you just get it, get the pressure on and put it on, that's handy as well. So we've got all these things. You have um, all the alcohol free kind of things. You've got a sterile burn gel as well here, which comes with a kit. So it's quite a good kit, and a good thing you can store these things in here as well so um yeah basically that's the other thing we've got is another drink another drink uh what else do you want to show this one Oops. here we go go on then you want to fill um, them in we have got these 
um, Adidas Nemesis 18.3 um, AF Artificial Grass uh, AG No, um, no, yeah, Artificial Grass, isn't it? These are, no, these are, um, sorry, they're turf, turf t shoes AGTF, oh Yeah So, um, turf, turf, these are turf trainers So, one of the things with these school that your younger brother in at is the, they are not allowed to use any kind of studded shoes. So he couldn't use where to get these. He hardly used them because he joined the school after second term when he knew mm -hmm. school. Hardly used them, but we always keep them in because you never know, he may need them uh, if he needs them, something happens to his boots or the surface is too hard or it's a hard sur you know, too hard a surface, it's very dry or hard for whatever reason or the chain surfaces who you're gonna need to use these kind of studs instead so um these are just basic ones we've got in case he needs it football there wasn't any point in buying him anything too flash and these are good these are good anyway made on the bottom like josh says get to the end um but yeah um we did get his name for free put on these sticker things there and one of the letters came off. I won't let you work out which it is because we, we don't know. Yeah, so one of the stickers came off. Exactly the same sticker letter came off on the other one. So the thing is, really, what we want to do is it was for free, and we said, think let's put it on. It's free. You can't criticize Adidas too much because it's from Adidas, so they give free sticky name on. But it identifies it as him. So none of the kids say, oh, it's my one, blah, 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 and go off with it because you'd never have this on someone else's shoe so um, at least you could identify as he's so because they had finished their football season um, the football and they were doing more other stuff I think they were creating the cricket and stuff instead so um, we just keep it in the bag in case he needs a spare boot and I think that's it now the biggest problem with this it's too small but I don't want to be lugging around a massive bag and it's reasonable I think we get some of those ice packs maybe have two ice packs maximum and still put the four drinks in. Um, we don't need to put, I think that should be enough. It yeah. should fit in okay. So let's have a go and see. So the boots go in the bottom, obviously I'd say. And then we get all this back in together. Um, so yeah, see, so just just tell what you think of it. Um, if it's a bit too much, maybe possibly you just want to be prepared for the Ideally, most eventualities. The only thing we would possibly consider putting some painkillers, but I think we've got some in the car anyway. Um, so, um, yeah, it's just all going to help, hopefully, in uh, if we get into a sticky or prob problem situation. But you didn't kind of, we haven't had to fortunately use any of these things as of yet from the first aid kit, but you never know. Actually, one of the dads actually stung himself, stinging it, so I gave him one of the um, wipes for the sting, sting which is in there. So, yeah, I have to use it actually. So, if we put that back in there. Oh, that needs to go in as well. So, how's that going to fit? That's a Savlon wash. So, if I can spray that, so that can go kind of there. See if that's going to fit still. So, it should. So, that's good. Yeah. And we'll take it to King's Dunn when we do your football training as well, keep it in the car and I'll take it to football and um, when you have your matches, even if it's a home match. So our jacket's probably going next. And there. Uh, and the other one. Yeah, I think we're gonna probably have to consider putting in your in that rucksack instead. Uh, and then uh, we've got the other bits and bobs. Drinks. Um, I think we've got two ice packs in, we'll keep the other ones here because it's a bit overkill that. Um, yeah, the isn't bag it? gets bulky. The bag gets bulky, we could put that in there I guess, isn't it? Yeah. Put it at the top. At the top, yep. Um, and let's get the fig rolled in. I think we need to put a bit more food in case we go get hungry. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we'll put all the drinks in. I think now I've packed it now, this way, I don't think it's all going to fit. Actually, yeah, that's still all right. So it is very bulky, though. That is very bulky. 
and we've not even done the thing at the front. At the front, we've got to do the bits at the front, so let's see. Can we put the spoon Yeah, put the spoon in, always. Yeah, spoon. That can go in as well. Hand gel, hand soap. Okay, so that's it. That's not bad. So we've got it all in. What we've kept out is the three, the two of our ice packs is a bit overkill. So I mean, so that's what we've got in our in case an emergency bag or whatever. What you want it, whatever. You, so any names to, to suggest for it? Be cool. Uh, anything you think we should put in it or things we should keep out? Whatever you think. If it's overkill, let us know. I think it could potentially be overkill, but uh, it's always safe to pay. Uh, Hope for the best and prepare for the worst, I say. So it's always worth it because once you need it, you need it. So, anyway, that's it. That's video done. So, another one done. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And um, I'll leave a link to uh, the other video. So, I'll see you next time. Peace out.